I'm here in a new project which I named Tetris Remake. So as the name tells you, we are going to create the famous Tetris game. So the first thing that we are going to do here, as always, create a new folder, name it Scenes and save this scene as Gameplay. So here I'm going to name it Gameplay. We are also going to change here the resolution to 480 by 800 and I'm going to position the camera at 4.5 for the X and 7.5 for the Y. We are going to see a little bit later when we go inside of the game or in our game development why we are doing it like this. Now I'm going to take our sprites and simply drag and drop them here in our folder or excuse me in our Unity so that Unity can import them. So let us create also our menus here. So I'm going to go here on new scene and I'm going to save this one and I'm going to well name it here as main menu. And here now, as I said, we are going to create our scenes. So I'm going to go here and create a new image, which is going to be our background image. So background image. For the canvas, I'm going to select screen space camera, attach the main camera and scale here with the screen size 480 by 800 and set 0.5 to match width and height equally and also set our background image at 0, 0. And here I'm also going to select the main BG as the image and set its native size. So this is what we practically have here. I'm also going to go here in our sprites and for the buttons, I'm going to set it to multiple for the sprite mode, uncheck generate mid maps, override for standalone. So as you are used to do or as you are used to watch me do in my, well, tutorials here because I don't know, I cannot help it, I'm sick in order to just configure it in the beginning. So here I'm going to name this to play button and I'm also going to take the resume button. So resume button and also rename these two and hit apply. So now we are going to create a new button. So under game object UI create a button. This is going to be the play button and here I'm simply going to rename it to play button and I'm going to select the play button to be the image of it and also well set the native size. So this is practically what we have here. We can also add the options button so on and so forth just to visually make it more interesting which I'm going to do. So let me go here and this is going to be our options button which is not going to do anything actually but as I said just for the visuals so let me just select this one right here so from the first. Okay, so now we have the play and the options button, but we are only going to program our play button. While we are here, we are going to go in the build and add the current scene to the build. So let me just clear the console. It drives me mad to see that something is in the console. And here I'm going to create scripts folder. Inside of it, I'm going to create menu controllers. So menu controllers and here I'm going to create an empty game object which is going to be our main menu controller and simply position it 0, 0 for the x and for the y axis and here simply create a script and name it main menu controller as we are used to well do every time in our games here. Let us now attach our script quickly on our main menu controller and double click it so on the develop will open it and here, as you can assume, we are going to have one function, public void play game. So play game function. Inside of it, simply type application load level and we are going to pass our gameplay. So nothing special, nothing too hard. Going back here, selecting the play button. And here we are going to attach the main menu controller and simply, well, here select our play game function. So now we are going to go in our gameplay and here we are also going to attach our or excuse me create our pause button. So here I'm going to go under UI and create a button. So I'm going to select the canvas and again attach our main camera here and I'm going to well take the button. This is going to be our pause button. So pause button and let me set it at zero zero. So here and I'm going to simply select our pause or how did I named it so here we have our resume game 
So I named it resume game, but it actually needs to be paused. Anyway, this is what we have here. I'm going to set it at 50, 50 for the size or 40, 40 even, it's good. But we need here to go to scale with screen size. That's what I forgot to do. So that's why the button was so large. And let's say 0.5 for our axis here. And let me take the button now and position it here. So here is going to be our button, but still I'm going to set it at 50, 50, or maybe let's say 60 by 60. So we are going to position it here and set the anchor at the top right corner. So this is what we have here with our button. We are also going to take, excuse me, the main camera and we are going to set the color of it to be black. So now we see the black colors here. What we are also going to do is we are going to take our borders. So our border that we have here and set them up. So this is our border. So this little red line actually. So how can we do it? Well, first we are going to select the border here in our sprites and we are going to let me uncheck the generate mid map and configure it quickly. So true color hit apply. We are going to set here pixels per unit at 32 and hit apply. And I'm going to set the borders Y scale at 40. And this is now what we have from our border. I'm also going to set the border as the child of the camera. So now if I set it 0, 0, here is where we have it. For the X, I'm going to set it here at minus 5.9. Or let me just see where it is actually. So somewhere around here. So minus 2. So actually we need to set it here like this. So it's going to be minus 3. So this is what we have here. And again, copy and paste the border. And this one is going to be at 3. So these are our borders. And let me just select the pause button. So right here, and this is what we have here. So again, we have the position for the camera at 4.5 and 7.5. And also we see the borders. So three and negative three. Both of them are children of our camera. And we are practically done with the setup. And we also need to create here a gameplay controller. So controller, let me just type it right. So gameplay controller. And for it, we need to create a script. So going here in our menu controllers, I'm going to create our gameplay controller script and simply attach it here. Now we can double click it. So modern develop will open it. And going back here, what we can do is we can create a simple pause panel, which is, well, practically, we don't need it, but just for the visual. So here I'm going to create a panel. So searching for the panel and let me just resize the panel. So the panel is going to be something like this and I'm going to position it here. So I'm just position it. Let me just change first the anchor and now position it at the X and at the Y zero zero. This is what we have for the panel. I'm going to select here for the color of the panel. I'm going to select this color of our border. And this is going to be our panels color. So this one right here. I'm also going to create a button. So this is going to be a button in the panel, which is going to be our resume game. So resume game, resume game and quit game. So two buttons and this one's going to be quit game. And I'm going to position both of them here but I am going to, let me just add zero, zero for the X and for the Y, this is going to be resume game and this is going to be quit game. But for the quit game, what we need to do is actually, let me just delete it and we need to create a new button that has the text in it. This is going to be quit game because I did not create an asset quit button and that's why we need to, well, create it customly. And for the resume game, let me just find it here. So pause, resume, this one is that we want. So this is going to be our resume game. Let's see how it looks like. So this is okay. Let me see the width and the height, 23382. So 23382, this is what we have here. For the color of our button, I'm simply going to take this tint here and select again this right here. For the text, I'm going to pump it up well, on the size and for the color of it, I'm going to select the color of our resume here text. And this is going to be our quit button. So practically this is what we have here. 
Going in our gameplay controller, I'm simply going to create a serialized field, which is going to be a private. So private game object, this is going to be our pause panel. And here in our, well, start function, so awake, or excuse me, awake function, I'm saying start, but I'm typing awake. We're going to take the pause panel set active to be equal to false. And let's create our button, well, function, so public void pause game. So when we pause the game, what we want to do is we need to set the time dot time scale. So time scale is equal to zero and we need to show our pause panel. So showing the pause panel is now true. So here typing true. We are also going to have public void resume game where we are going to do the opposite. So simply copy and paste these lines of code here. Time scale is now one but our pause panel showing is false and public void quit game we are simply going to say application dot load level and we are going to load our main menu so main menu but before that we also need to set the time scale to be equal to one because when we pause the game we are setting it to be zero and when we go back or quit the game, we need to reset it to be equal to one again, or this can mess up our game. So select the quit and our resume and pause button and attach our gameplay controller on them. But for the pause button, we are going to select our pause game function. For the, re for the resume game, excuse me, we are going to select our resume game. And for the quit game, we are going to select our quit game function. So if we run it now, I can go back using our pause button. So unassigned variable or excuse me, I forgot to well assign our pause panel. So panel needs to be assigned right here. So this is the error that we are getting. And we need to go in the build and add our scenes to the build. So this is nothing hard or new. I'm assuming that you did not know already. So practically we can position it here. It does not matter. So 0.5 and let's say 7.5 here. Also, this is going to be our center because our camera is that at those coordinates. So if I run the game now, this is what we have. We can pause it, we can quit it, play it, so on and so forth. This is our initial setup. So we have created our menus, set up our borders, set up our buttons, and we are ready to, well, program our game. Or excuse me, first we need to, well, create our groups of our Tetris game objects, which, well, we are going to start doing in the next video. So we are going to start here and continue in the next video.